When finding solutions to simple harmonic equations, we can write the general solution in a couple different ways. Usually it is seen as x of t equals c1 times cosine omega t plus c2 times sine omega t. It is possible to convert this equation into one with a single term. We can rewrite x of t as a times the sine of the quantity omega t plus phi. This form makes the magnitude of the wave obvious, as it's just a. We can define a as the square root of the quantity c1 squared plus c2 squared. The constant phi is called the phase shift, which shifts the graph left or right. We define the tangent of phi to be c1 over c2. To find phi, we need to first make sure that phi is in the correct quadrant. Then, take the inverse tangent to find a value for phi. Let's do an example. We are given the equation z of t equals 5 cosine of 2t plus 12 sine of 2t. First, we need to determine what c1 and c2 are. Based on the equations we have just seen, we know that c1 corresponds to the cosine term, and c2 corresponds to the sine term. Therefore, we'll use 5 for c1 and 12 for c2. Next, we can solve for a. We have a equals the square root of c1 squared plus c2 squared. After defining c1 and c2, we can say that this equals the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared, which works out to be exactly 13. Next, solve for phi. By our previous formula, we know the tangent of phi equals 5 twelfths. Therefore, phi equals inverse tangent of 5 twelfths, which is approximately 0.395 radians. Finally, we can rewrite our original solution as z of t equals 13 sine of 2t plus 0 0.395. Let's try another example, going the other way. We start with the function z of t equals 25 sine of 4t plus inverse tangent of 7 over 24. Recall that the tangent of phi equals c1 over c2. This is equal to the inverse tangent of 7 over 24. Therefore, c1 over c2 equals 7 over 24. It follows that c1 equals 7 24ths of c2. We can use this relationship to solve for c1 and c2. Let's finish solving for our constants. We know that a squared equals 25 squared. We also know that a equals c1 squared plus c2 squared. Since we have an expression for c1, we can substitute it into the equation for a squared to get a squared equals the quantity 7 24ths c2 squared plus c2 squared. Now we have everything in terms of one variable, and we can solve for c2. This gives us c2 equals 24. Using this as the value for c2 to find c1, we get c1 equals 7. Finally, z of t equals 7 cosine 4t plus 24 sine 4t.